let's say we have to add two polynomials px and qx px is 5x to the power of 4 plus 7x cube plus 2 and qx is 6x to the power of 5 plus 2x cube plus 3x square plus 1 can we use arrays to represent these polynomials and add them suppose we have to implement or we have to represent this this polynomial px how can we do so so suppose we have a array of size 5 and with the indices 1, 0 2 4 and each index or each subscript we will assume as the power of x so if this 0 index would represent x to the power of 0 index 1 will represent x to the power of 1 index 2 will represent x to the power of 2 and so on so if this is the representation then i can put a 2 over here 0 over here since there is no coefficient or constant for this x and for x square also there is no coefficient so a 0 for x cube the coefficient is 7 so i will put 7 over here for x to the power of 4 the coefficient is 5 so we will put a 5 over here similarly we can represent qx since the highest order of the exponent is 5 we will have an array of 6 elements 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and similarly just as we discussed earlier we are going to put in the values of the coefficients over here 3 x to the power of cube is having a coefficient 2 x to the power of 4 is not present x to the power of 5 is having coefficient 6 now if we have to add these two arrays we cannot because the size of these two arrays is different so that means that when we have to add two arrays we will have to make both the arrays of the same size and that size would be equal to the highest coefficient plus one so if the highest coefficient is 5 then our array size should be 6 to include this x to the power of 0 as well. Now when we represent these two polynomials using an array of size 6 now it is easy to run a loop and add the respective indices and give the final answer as 6x to the power of 5 which is the addition of this and this plus 5x to the power of 4 plus 9x cube plus 3x square plus 3. So this would be our final result if we are using arrays to represent these polynomials and then adding them as well. So what is the problem now? The problem is that if we have polynomials like this then if we see that the highest coefficient is of the order 5000 so the array that would be required for this would be of size 5001 and out of these 5001 spaces for the arrow for the array and if integers are being stored as the coefficients the number of bytes that would be required would be 20004 assuming that each integer is taking four bytes so these many bytes would be required to store this polynomial out of this array of 5001 elements how many spaces would actually be utilized there are only four terms so only 4 into 4 which is 16 bytes would be utilized so we see that uh, there is a huge wastage of space if arrow arrays are being used out of the 20,004 bytes, only 16 bytes are being used to store the coefficient. So, can we use linked list for this? So, let's see that we are using linked list and we know that in a linked list, we have two parts. One is the data part and the other is a pointer to the next board. In this data part, we are going to store the coefficient as well as the exponent of x so like if we take this example of rx we have the first term as 2 the coefficient is 2 the exponent is 5000 
then we have the next term where the coefficient is 7 and the exponent of x is 76 plus 4 into x and then 5 with x to the power of 0. So how much space is being utilized if we are using a linked list? So 4 bytes say for the coefficient, 4 bytes for the exponent, 4 bytes for the pointer to the next node. So 12 bytes per node and there are 4 nodes. So 12 into 4 which is equal to 48 bytes plus you can say 4 bytes for the pointer as well, the head pointer. So 48 plus 4 which gives you 52 bytes. Now compare 20,000 bytes compared with 52 bytes only. So you can see that if we are having a polynomials with large coefficients, it makes sense to use linked list and you can see the space complexity over here. However, if the coefficients are small, then you can use array as well as linked list depending on your ease of uh, use of these two data structures. Now if we have we are using linked list to represent the polynomials and we have these two polynomials sx and tx and this is 2x to the power of 99, 7x to the power of 76 and so on. Similarly for tx we have 5 into x to the power of 76 and so on. So how are we going to add these two polynomials now? So we will start moving these pointers S and T. The first thing that we need to do is compare the exponents. We know that these two elements, the terms will be added only if the exponents are same. So 9x square would be added to 4x square. Similarly, 7x to the power of 76 will be added to 5x to the power of 76. So we start moving the pointers and we compare the exponents. Since 99 is not equal to 76, we are first going to put down this node 99 over here. We are going to add this node to the new linked list which is being pointed to by A and since we have utilized this node, we are going to move the S pointer to the next node. The T pointer still remains the same. Now we are going to compare again the two coefficients 76 with 76. Since both these exponents are the same, we will add their coefficients. So 7 plus 5 will become 12 and the exponent is added to the node. And since both the nodes have been processed, then the pointers for both the nodes will be updated to point to the next node. So now S is pointing here and T is pointing to this node. Again the exponents will be compared. Both the exponents are same. So again the coefficients will be added. So 9 plus 4 is going to give us 13. The exponent is 2 and we now update the pointers S. Since both the nodes were processed S and T both will be updated to point to the next node. Again the exponents are compared. Since they are not the same and 1 is larger than 0. So first this node will be put in the uh, this linked list. Now this has reached null. So we have finished with one linked list. We are now going to go to the uh, other linked list and add this node to the answer linked list. And since again we have reached null over here also, so we are done with the processing. So this is how a linked list can be used to add polynomials.